Hey guys, this is Vikash for Skyline Motions and in this tutorial, let's create this awesome looking 3D or parallax kind of a slides to animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins. And this tutorial is inspired by one of the video hive template and I have given a link in the description. So go to the link and check out that template if you want. And without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so let's start by creating a new composition. So click on this new composition and this is going to be our main composition. So let's call it main and set it 1920 by 1080. Let's go with 60 frame per second and duration make it 5 second long, which is good enough for one slide and hit OK. And now let's take one more composition that is going to be our media placeholder where we can drag our image or video file so just go to composition and take a new composition and let's call it media set it 1920 by 1080 frame rate 60 duration make it 5 second hit ok and now let's import an image file that we want to use in this project so go to project window right click on that click on import file and select your image file so in this case i'm using this image that i have downloaded from pixabay.com and i have given a link in the description so go to the link and download this image if you want and click on import and drag this image into this media composition and then go to your main composition and import this media comp into this main composition and set this resolution to auto and let's create an animated grid kind of a texture so we have to take a new solid layer so just go to layer go to new and take a new solid or you can also hit ctrl y to take a new solid and let's call it grid one Hit OK and let's apply a fractal noise effect on it. So just go to effect and preset and search for fractal noise. And let's apply this fractal noise on this solid layer. And let's do some settings. So just go to noise type and change this soft linear to block. And set this complexity 1. Hit enter. And open this transform and let's scale it up. And set this scale value something around. 580 hit enter and set this grid in center so go to this offset turbulence and set it in center something like this all right and now let's animate this evaluation so i'm going to add a time expression on this evaluation parameter so hold alt on the keyboard and click on this stopwatch button to open this expression box and let's type a time expression so i'm going to type time multiply by 100 hit enter and as you can see it's looking like this and now close this grid and just go to this uh, contrast and set this contrast value there's something around 150 hit enter and let's down this brightness so i'm going to set this brightness value negative 50 hit enter all right and as you can see we have something like this all right and now let's create one more copy of this grid so hit ctrl d on the keyboard and select this uh, second grid and go to this uh, transform and let's down the size of this so so set this scale value something around 150 hit enter and it's looking like this and select this rectangle tool and let's create a rectangular mask so hold control and scroll down to zoom out and just create a rectangular mask like this all right and check this option invert and click on fit button and open this mask property and set this mask feather uh, something around 250 hit enter and as you can see it's looking like this and now just select this grid one and set it to overlay mode and hit T on the keyboard to open this opacity and set this opacity 20% and hit enter all right and now select this grid and change this blending mode to overlay and hit T on the keyboard to open this opacity and set this opacity 20% and hit enter and as you can see we get this type of effect all right and now 
Let's close this and select these three layers. Right click on that and click on pre-compose and let's call it source. And check this option, move all attributes into the new composition and hit OK. And now just select the source layer, right click on that, click on rename and let's call it source one, hit enter. And now let's create four different copy of this source layer. So hit control D four time on the keyboard to create four different copy. And just select this top layer and click on this solo button to preview this one only. And select this uh, rectangle tool and select this part of the image like this and then select the source 3 and check this solo button and for this one select this part of the image like this and do the same thing for third one so just select the source 2 click on the solo button and select this part of the image like this all right and for the last one click on this solo button select this source 1 and just create a mask like this all right so as you can see i have split it in four different part and now let's apply drop shadow effect on it so just go to this effect and preset and search for drop shadow effect and let's apply drop shadow on top layer and let's do some settings so just set this uh, distance value zero and Set this softness something around 300. Hit enter. All right. And copy this effect by hitting control C on the keyboard and select these three layers and hit control V to paste on it. And it's looking like this as you can see. And now I want to highlight these edges. So just select this top layer and go to effect and preset and search for bevel alpha. And let's apply this bevel alpha on this top layer and let's do some settings so just set it like this and go to this uh, effect control and let's uh, set this light intensity something around 0.6 and hit enter and as you can see it's looking like this but I also want to highlight this edge so I'm gonna set this uh, light angle in this direction as you can see it's looking perfect now and now let's apply same effect on these layer also so select this bevel alpha hit ctrl c to copy and select these three bottom layers and hit ctrl v to paste on it and now click on fit button and just select this source 3 and let's change this light angle in this direction so just rotate it like this and we get this perfect output here and now select the source 2 and for this one set this uh, light angle in this direction so just rotate it like this and as you can see it's looking perfect and for the last one just select the source 1 and click on the solo button to preview this source 1 only and just set this light angle in this direction so i'm going to rotate this wheel in this direction and set it light angle like this all right and as you can see it's looking perfect and click on this solo button all right and we get this type of effect as you can see and now let's create text over here so select this text tool and just go to character and select your favorite font style so in this case i'm using this go bold font style and set it to regular and set the size of this text 120 pixel and set this character spacing zero and set this line spacing auto all right and let's type whatever you want to type so and let's do some character label styling so just select this line and let's down the size a bit and set it like this and just set this character spacing something around 100 hit enter all right and now hit ctrl a to select all and just set this uh, line spacing like this all right and select this move tool and just set this text over here 
like this and select this text tool and let's type over here so i'm going to type dynamic design and just set it over here like this and just set this uh, character spacing uh, 200 hit enter and now let's animate this text so select this bottom text layer and open this up and click on this animate button and click on this opacity and now let's uh, set this opacity to zero percent and open this range selector and let's animate this range selector so go to on two second and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a start property and set this uh, start value 100 hit enter and go to very beginning of this animation and just set this start value 0 hit enter all right and as you can see it's looking like this and i'm gonna open this advanced control and here is randomize order so let's turn on this randomize order and minimize this animator and as you can see we get this type of effect and let's apply same effect on this uh, second text layer so open this text click on this animate button and click on this opacity and set this opacity to zero percent and open this range selector open this advance and just uh, turn on this randomize order and minimize this advance and set this start value something around 80 percent and it's looking like this and now minimize this uh, text and change this blending mode normal to overlay all right and now let's add some more detail on it so just uh, select this text tool and let's type a number over here so click over here and let's type a number and hit ctrl a to select all and just set it like this select this move tool and set it over here and change this blending mode normal to overlay and let's down the size a bit and set this uh, character spacing 100 and now let's animate this number so select this number open this and click on this animate button and add a character offset effect and I'm going to add a time expression on it so hold alt and click on this stopwatch button to open this expression box and let's type a time expression so I'm going to type time multiply by 10 hit enter and we get this type of effect all right and let's create a duplicate of this text so hit ctrl d to duplicate and just drag this second text over here and let's scale it up a bit and now let's change the text so just select this and let's type anything and now let's add some more details on it so i'm going to add a animated rectangular stroke so just select this rectangle tool and go to this field and set it to none and go to this stroke and set it to solid color and select this white color for the stroke hit ok and set this stroke thickness one pixel and let's create a square like this and now right click on that click on rename and let's call it a square hit enter and now let's animate this square so click on this add button and add a trim path effect all right and open this trim path and go to on two second and let's animate this end so click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on end property and set this value 100 percent and go to very beginning of this animation at frame number zero and set this uh, end value zero hit enter and go to on three second and click on this button to add one more keyframe on three second and go to the end of this animation and just set this end value zero hit enter all right and just set this resolution to quarter and let's take a look and as you can see it's looking like this and this is very basic animation so let's make some more interesting animation so just select all these keyframes 
and hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and go to your graph editor if your graph editor not looking like this then right click on this graph editor and click on this edit a speed graph all right and now select this point and hold this handle and just set it like this and create a nice a smooth curve and select this point and hold this handle and just set it like this all right and now close this graph editor and let's play this again and as you can see it's looking much more interesting all right and now let's create a duplicate of this square so hit ctrl d on the keyboard and for this one right click on this second square and go to transform and let's uh, click on this flip horizontally all right and now just set it over here so select this one hold shift and press down arrow key and just set it like this and let's scale it up a bit so hit s on the keyboard and just scale it up just set it over here like this and now let's change the blending mode for these squares so select these both squares and change this blending mode to overlay and finally let's take a camera so go to this uh, layer new and take a new camera and let's call it camera hit ok and let's create a null object so go to this layer again and go to new and take a new null object and this is going to be our camera control so let's call it camera control hit enter and select this camera and let's parent this camera with this uh, camera control so pick this pick whip and attach this with camera control all right and now let's convert all these 2d layers into 3d so click on this toggle switches and let's turn on 3d button for all these layers and then let's create a distance between each layer in gs space so just select these layer and leave this camera and camera control as it is and hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and just set it like this all right and let's create a distance between each layer so just select this bottom layer first and just set it in g space and set this z position value 20,000 hit enter and for this one set this z value something around 15,000 hit enter and do the same thing for all these layers so i'm gonna just set this value 10,000 hit enter and for this one let's set this value 7,000 maybe and for the text set this value 8,000 hit enter and for this one set this value 5,000 for this one set this uh, value something around 11,000 hit enter and set this value 9,000 hit enter and for this square set this value 3000 hit enter and set this value 5000 hit enter all right and now let's uh, minimize all the layers and select this layer again and hit s on the keyboard to open this a scale property and now let's scale it up and fit these layers according to our composition size so just select this source one and hold shift on the keyboard and let's scale it up and just set it like this and turn off this outline and just set this yellow line outside of this black frame and do the same thing for all these layers so i'm going to do this in fast forward Just minimize all the layers all right and now just set it like this and finally let's animate the camera so select this camera control 
and just go to on to second and hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and just click on this uh, stopwatch button to create a keyframe on position property and go to very beginning of this animation and just set all the layers in left hand side something like show all right and just go to on three second and click on this button to add one more keyframe on three second and lock this position and then go to the end of this animation and just drag it like this all right and now let's play this animation and as you can see we have a very basic animation so let's make some more interesting animations so i'm gonna just select these keyframes and hit f9 on the keyboard to easy is them and then go to your craft editor and select this point and hold this handle and just drag it in left side and create a nice smooth curve and just select this point and just drag it on right hand side like this and create a nice smooth curve and then close this graph editor and go to the very beginning of this animation and let's have a look all right so it's looking much more better as you can see and now let's do one more thing just go to on one second and select this camera control hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on a scale property and set this scale value 50 percent and hit enter and just go to on four second maybe and set this value to 100 percent all right and now select these both keyframe and hit f9 on the keyboard to easy is them all right and now it's almost done so just go to very beginning of this animation and go to full screen and let's have a look all right so it's looking nice and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye